If you want to know how to choose a good plumber, here are five quick tips so that you can choose the best plumber for you over the long term. First, use the internet. On the local listings, look at the plumber's ratings and review. Also make sure you take a look at the paid advertising uh, in the search results, but beware of those. Sometimes a plumber can pay a huge amount of money just to get one click from the internet. Sometimes those are the top three results in a search engine like Google or Yahoo, which may be shaded differently. Any ads on the right-hand side are all usually paid advertising. Then, of course, be sure to look at the regular listings to see the ones that Google and Yahoo and MSN all trust the most in terms of relevance to the words you typed in. And scour the plumber's websites when you have a free moment and there is no plumbing emergency. And on occasion, you can find some valuable coupons that you can keep available in case of a plumbing disaster. Ask yourself also, can it wait? Because immediate same-day service usually costs the most amount of money. So if you have a situation which can require a plumber, but you can wait a day or two, such as a very, very small leak in a faucet that doesn't look like it has anything very concerning, you can't make, you can't make the repair yourself, call the plumber and see if you can schedule it a few days later, and therefore you will not be charged a premium type of price, depending on the plumber and his pricing model. Also ask for free estimates. These are still available from reputable plumbers in your area. Note that some plumbers can charge up to $70, or in some instances more, just to be invited into your home. So even if they give you a, an estimate that's rather high, you still, because they're there, and you don't want to have to send them away to have somebody else come in, especially in the course of an emergency, they expect that you're going to go ahead and pay the money, or they'll just say it's included in the fee. Take a moment, find the estimates, and therefore at least you have something that can save you some money in the event that you need plumber. An important one, look for the M number and check the licenses. Uh, if a plumber's truck comes out and he has an M or number starting with the letter M, this means that the, he or she is a master plumber. Now, if the plumber does not have this license, then you should reconsider letting that plumber do any work for you. All plumbers must have their licenses with them when working, and you can always contact your state's board of plumbing examiners or some similar uh, type of agency within the state to check your plumber's insurance and validity of any license number presented to you. Finally, when you find a good plumber, you want to keep that plumber handy. So always add that plumber's email address to your email contact list. Also, tape a business card somewhere where you can access it during a plumbing emergency, whether it be next to your phone or on your desk, wherever you need. And then even consider adding your plumber's phone number to your cell phone contact list. In the event of a significant emergency, you can contact the plumber right away. If you have any assistance in the North Texas area and in Collin County, cities of McKinney, Plano,